I? All right. My name is Granger. These nice gentlemen, they're after my money. They're not gonna get it. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, all's fair and we'll fight. I'm retired. Help him up. Hey, look, sir. Kick to the ball aside. We really do appreciate you doing these off hours for the boys. The boys are all improving. And they're willing to keep it up as long as you keep feeding the Gee Fund. Double for you. All right. Come on, don't be shy. That's good. Some of the kids can't afford their own uniforms. You know, one day, one of us is going to put you down. Not very likely, Captain. Yeah, you're probably right about that. <laughs> good night, sir. Good night, Captain. All right, kids. Line up. Come up on the mat. Good. Take your position. Yes. Good. All right. We'll see you next week, OK? Have a good night now. Be careful, all right? Get your shoes.
Another 365, guys. And I couldn't tell you where the time has gone. Wish I could trade places with you. <laughs> to the team. people coming from? The passage is open. The prophecy. We have but seconds. Sorcerer. We have work to do. Post haste. We must not be caught outside the fortress walls in darkness. The king requests your presence.
sneak in here. Alive. Quite right. I have all passed from this world. Remember who you're meant to be. Remember that you must return to this place. It was my prophecy to die for you. It is your destiny to be here. From what I've heard, you've had quite an adventure. The king! You'll stand when the king enters. <clears throat> That's not cool. Indeed, it is warm. I mean, it's hardly senator. It is blood, not feces. The blood of a champion. The blood of the chosen one. Well, the record, it was your, it was your man, actually, your man who did this. My soldiers were to ensure that you were not taken by the Dark One at the enchanted place. Dark One. The fellow who followed you through from the time beyond. See, one has mere seconds to follow the enchanted through the blue fire. Had the Dark One hesitated, he would have been cut in half by its energy or left in your world. Instead, he chose to pass through with you and our beloved Eliana. God rest your soul. All leave, save the king's guard. So, what do people call you in your time? Granger. Granger. That is a most unusual name. You'd be surprised how many times you get me laid. Laid? What? What is laid? <laughs> oh, you, you mean to lay with a woman? You will curb your common tongue in the presence of the king. It is inconsequential, Allard. We're all the same man underneath our cloth. Right, Granger? Uh, what's your name? Other than the king. Insolence! Are you starting to seriously piss me off? All right, silence! There is darkness enough beyond without casting stones from within. Take your men, Allard. I wish to speak with Granger in confidence. Hi, my lord. My noble and trusted guard. He's a piece of work. <laughs> I'm afraid that I might spend the rest of my days trying to decipher your strange manner of speech, Granger. And to answer your question, I was once known as Raven. Raven? I'm the hunter bird, yes. Now you're uh, the king? <laughs> well, that is a story for many, many glasses of ale. I see that you still harbor disbelief on how you've come to be in our time. Yeah, you could say that. We live in a time of powerful sorcery. When men or objects may be imbued with wondrous capabilities. Eliana worked tirelessly to open the gates between our worlds. She believed as I do. She gave her life to find you and bring you to our time. Our kingdom, our very existence is threatened from without. You have been brought here as the prophecy has decreed. With all respect to your beliefs and 
for her sacrifice, I, I, I think you got the wrong guy. Selflessness is a trait common amongst the uncommon. Our journey has just begun, Granger. Escort our guest to his quarters and make sure that the doctor attends to his wound. Aye, my lord. Why have I been brought here? At sunrise, we shall speak at length. But rest deep, Granger, for tomorrow our adventure begins. Rest deep. share my king's devotion to the prophecy, yet I pledge to honor the crown. That is why you have not been hung by the town gallows, for that reason and that reason alone. Well, that's good to know. When the time comes, and the time is nigh, I shall be the one to drop my blade across your skin. Well, when the time comes, we'll see what we see. And until then, be a good royal bitch and show me my room. I began my day with a protein shake, and now I'm standing in a medieval sleeping hut. Acid trips don't get this weird. Or maybe they do. I wouldn't know. No water purification to speak of. Jeez, there's got to be everything from E. coli to dead sheep floating around in the stuff. When in Rome... Guard, that's you and me, Knave. <clears throat> uh, um, sorry, you must have put me in the wrong hut. Excellent hardware, though. It is my honor to share your bed. Well, look, there must have been some kind of mistake. I'm uh, just a visitor here. From a time beyond, yes, I am honored to share your bed. Oh, you know about that? As it is written, so shall it pass. You are the chosen one. Look, um, you cover up for a second? I shall mentally keep the time. Look, I don't really need you in my bed tonight, um. But, but it is my honor. I'm, um, I'm a little tired to have a woman share my bed. Would, would you prefer a man? I can have the guard summon No, 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 man, no. Look, I'm tired and I need to sleep, okay? Then, I will keep your bed with you for warmth. For warmth? Okay. If that is all you wish from me? I suppose tomorrow is another day. As it is written. Hey, hey, do you have to know anything about that prophecy everybody's talking about? If I had any information betrayed its meaning, I would be put to death immediately. Oh, okay, well, I suppose that you can wait till... <clears throat> A wound on his head and his arm. He will lay with me for warmth, but not for pleasure, nor does he require the use of a man. Tired and straight. Yeah, well, so what do you, Doc, the, uh, what do you, like, the full-service job, Doc, like, medieval crack and patch, huh? Both agree this is a little awkward, right? A physician for His Majesty's royal court cannot indulge her pride.
keep him limber. I just want you to know that as tired as I am, this is very really nice. But it is my honor. There is to be a fountain of blood in your days ahead. You must not sleep any longer. Awaken now. Danger's at hand. What do you mean? It is your fear that weakens you. Awaken now! <laughs> Abomination! Why'd you do this? He said the Holy Mother is thus decreed. It is not from my understanding. <laughs> they will retrieve this empty shell alone. Who are you? Be clear. I do not ask your forgiveness. Simple wench. The gods have been merciful. The king will need to speak with you. Leave us, my lord. The Dark Ones pursue him. It would be unwise to leave him. Leave us. My lord. You are alive. That is fortuitous. You could have just sent champagne. A wench. Like a thief in the night, did she intend to rob you of your life? My most gifted soldier would likely have perished. Well, I guess Lady Lux is on my side. Blasphemy! Your life is whole, because the prophecy decrees it to be such. I'm sick everybody riffing about that prophecy, about fate, destiny. You can take the prophecy and shove it up your ass. Never have I been spoken to in such a manner. <laughs> I find your insolence oddly refreshing, Granger. Our finest wine. My lord. We have much to discuss, Granger. You're not going to rethink the wine in how many dragged around by horses, are you? <laughs> Were you in contempt? Were you in contempt? Our finest grape. Away. The throne became mine after a period of war. Even from the time beyond, you must understand that after chaos comes stability. After stability follows chaos. Yes. Even as men of God, we are unable to cease killing ourselves. Our previous king, the commoner who rose to the throne, was a great man. 
the people sang his praise in the kingdom knew only prosperity in his time. He was loved by all. Until? Until the dark ones rose. The king and his followers fought valiantly but succumbed. It was only by divine will that we managed to drive them from our gates and survive. Well, not to be overly critical, but your uh, <laughs> fortress is uh, somewhat rustic. We retreated to this fortress out of desperation. The Dark Ones carried a plague in their blood, and our walls were breached. Well, who are the Dark Ones, exactly? Their origins are unknown. They live in the mountains and follow the word of their prophet. The Holy Mother? Yes. They follow her word with the reverence of that of a god. Well, who is she, then? Some say that she has a sorceress of the Black Arts, that her followers spill their blood on her command. Another say she demands of her legions to eat one another. Cannibalism? I do not know this one. It's to eat human flesh. Yes. Yes, to partake in that would be unholy. The meat of a human has become intoxicating for these savages, and it is now their way. Oh, there's something wrong about this. What about me? Why do I matter to them? And what have they targeted your kingdom? Because, Granger, we are simply in their midst. And you matter because you are the chosen one. Chosen? What does that mean? Chosen to do what? Chosen to kill their holy mother. Well, maybe this is just mental exhaustion talking, or maybe I'm just sick of people chasing me down trying to kill me, but tell me where to find this crazy bitch. Yes. shall feast like a king and fight like the god of war himself. Pray you remember which cloak falls first upon your shoulders. Look, I okay, appreciate this effort, but I, I don't need all this stuff. I only need my knife. You lower your blade. Just make lower your blade, making a point here. I don't need an arsenal. I move much quicker with my knife. And if you want me to get into this holy mother's camp, be sure as hell won't be with a bag of chickens. How much of people ever heard of salmonella? You have no need to carry additional weapons or food supplies. Exactly my point. Allard and his men shall carry them. Our doctor shall accompany you and tend to your wounds. You should not be alone in your quest, dear Granger. That's what I was afraid of. Sons of whores? Unarmed, we stand out. I've no personal quarrel with you. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Would you mind? May I? Thank you very much. I've acted hastily. I shall take my leave. Just for the record, I don't want you to come tomorrow any more than you do. It is the king's wish that I secure your health on this quest, and it shall be done. 
But let's face it, it's not like we have a trauma team for stand by to stitch an arm back on. In the time beyond, you can reaffix a man's arm. If the conditions are right. This information pleases me. You must tell me more tales about your practices from the time beyond. We'll speak at night while we make camp. So you're coming, even though you don't want to. The king has decreed it, and it shall be done. But you're not happy about it. No. Not in the slightest of my content with my lot in this cursed light. I will take my leave. Very smooth, my man. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't... If... if we shall perish, Anon, I will not die unfulfilled. Unfulfilled? Ah, right. <sighs> Our coupling was imprudent. I was rash and only desired to satisfy my urges. Well, did you? I pray you will tell no one of our union. I will take my leave. No one. I'll tell no one. No one will know. Well, I'm just going to love you. He and he alone. Do not fail me, Thane. Royal affairs. You have been summoned. Of course. Well, it's been, what, an hour? I don't suppose you're going to tell me why he wants to see me this time. It is not the king for whom you have been summoned. It is the seer. The seer? Aye. <laughs> Should I ask? It is the king's wish that you listen to the seer's words and form none of your own. Why? Best you leave the chicken-fingered wretch to her games and her tree. No questions. You will hear her words and stay your tongue. And if I don't, then I shall take your tongue. Well, Lord, you date a lot. I mean, do people actually like hanging out with you? I mean, female people. Or are you into that whole uh, sword and sweaty sandals thing? <laughs> and the Turkish bath? Huh? Come on, man. It's not a judgment, man. Whatever floats your boat. Come on, let's go. There is to be a fountain of blood in your day, there. Fountain? My words unsettle you, you who has watched legions die. Yet who is the warrior who has succumbed to the deeds of his past? To the days ahead, woman. By your majesty's divine wish, you must complete the two remaining trials. Two of the three, yes. The first trial you pass through from the time beyond. The second trial you, you must slay the dark mother. Third trial, you must find the catalyst. The catalyst alone shall release your restraints and guide you to your destiny. Pray, do not look to these men for your salvation, for they are mere worms in destiny's eyes. 
Mere fodder for the winged serpent of fate, so shiny are they. Worms to the slaughter, you shall find your end upon the high rocks. You are alone, chosen one. You are alone, and there is much fear upon your path. The light remains, the light remains only for a time, and then you shall never be free. You must cast the fear out of your heart, or you shall fail. Enough! It is your fear that weakens you. It is your fear that loosens your hold upon this world. You must leap into the void to be truly free. Enough, witch. Know your place. Your fear will carry you to the pits of hell! King commends your bravery. You shall be honored as heroes. Yeah, well, I hope we don't get eaten by cannibals. She's worried, too. You have a strange way about you, Granger. My lord. May the gods shine upon you and bring you home victorious. Don't you guys want to kill me? Because you are he. So I've been told. I pass knowing that I was bested by the chosen one. I die a valiant death. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Only the holy mother. Only the holy mother. <laughs> you maniac! Desist! And the king's decree desist. This is the idiot. Just stop the best way of getting into the camp. Yeah, I'm talking to you, moron. I follow the word of my king. My king's word is law. Desist! We have wounded. There are wounded. I've worked with crazy bastards like this before. This is not going to end well for anybody. We follow the word of our king. Leave no dark one alive. To get in and out of the Holy Mother's camp alive, we need information. Harbor no mistruth, stranger. We may reach the Holy Mother's sanctum, but the path shall be drenched with our blood. I'll keep that in mind.
That's an impressive field dress. It's not my first. Yeah. In the time beyond, would you have knowledge to save this man from his wound? Probably. Maybe. Who's to say? He will die, that soldier. Your words, you must be calm. Yeah, look, my anger has left me since our fight. I acted in haste. Look, I grabbed you first. I am my king's servant. Pray you forgive my actions. No problem. Listen, they brought 18 men. Seventeen under our boots, one fled. Now we're also eighteen, including you, me, and the doc. Does that seem strange to you? That they exactly matched us in numbers? They followed us to this point. Well, we have a spy. Aye. Yeah. But why would they not dispatch a legion to vest us? Why did they only match us to the man? I think that fifty dark ones raining down on our heads would increase the odds of all of us getting killed, intentionally or by accident. Their attack, no matter how crude, was with bloody intent. For some of us, now one of them had a chance to kill me, but didn't. He was confused, like he wanted to stab me, but he didn't. I think the Holy Mother wants me alive. For what purpose? You are her death. Perhaps there's more to this than we understand. Perhaps. For now, we need to make ourselves less conspicuous. We must dispatch to higher ground. It is certain. It is certain. I have told no one of your plan. I have uttered not a word. The weather moving in. The weather is of no concern. <sighs> Bit tougher going without the horses. <clears throat> you don't like starting conversations, do you? It's not my place. In the time beyond, are the expectations of women alike? <laughs> no, yes, no. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's complicated. Could you tell me about the medicine from the time beyond? Sure. Um, <clears throat> well, we have something called antibiotics. Anti? Biotics. Hmm. Antibiotics. Like a potion. Mm -hmm. Of sorts. You inject it or you swallow it, usually. And <clears throat> from what are they made? Well, I think it's, I think it's made from moldy cheese. Cheese? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know that green stuff. The guy who 
discovered it, he realized that the moldy cheese killed the bacteria. Mold. That's all I remember from biology. Had too much fun in high school. I guess it was just, uh, well, I guess to you, uh, high school was just, was just a school high on the hill. Mold. Yep, she's mold. Sleep tight, Doc. Weapons! Oh oh. Come on, let's go! Guess they don't want me alive. They changed their strategy after our previous victory. You have to go over and down. It's the only chance. There's too many to fight. There's no time for all of us to descend. They shall rain fire on us before we reach the bottom. That's the chance we have to take. That chance is yours and yours alone. You will take the woman and flee. We will defend this ridge with our lives. No way. I'm not leaving here. If I believe that you are truly the chosen one, then you must not perish. Go now. Complete the journey. Fulfill the prophecy. Are you deaf? I'm not leaving you here. I shall never forget you, Granger, from a time beyond. I trust you shall do me the same honor. I must follow him. My loyal soldiers. It has been an honor to have led you to the other side to a shower of their blood! You okay? I'm thoroughly bruised. They have passed from this world. Goodbye, soldier. Come on. Allard saved our lives that morning. Let's face it. He probably saved the world as we know it. When was this heinous act committed? Perhaps two hours ago, my lord. The witch was held fast without guards. What kind of a man enacts such brutality on a woman? What kind of a creature does this? Search the fortress. Calm the grounds. Bring the perpetrator to me by nightfall. Mark me. A dark curtain has fallen around our kingdom. Honor thy seer and bury her deep. Yes, my lord.
are there parts of your body to which I must attend? Sorry? Injuries. I got lucky. We got lucky. Perhaps the gods have seen fit to grant us. Why are you covering your face? It is cracked. The liquid, it is poison. The water corrects its form and renders it harmless. Poison for the Holy Mother. Or is it something else I should know? If we were taken, I was to drink. You mean like cyanide? It kills you instantly? It instantly kills its bearer and eradicates all who come in contact with him. You mean like a going away, don't get captured present from the king? The king is an alchemist. He has helped many with his skills since taking the craft. You sure it's okay there in the creek, or did would you send a get stuffed message to the people downstream? Water corrects its form. It is harmless now. It is a plague. Oh, great. I was wondering who was carrying our biological weapons. Ah, ah. We must reach the Dark Mother's cabin by nightfall. Ow! You're not going anywhere, Doc. My flesh is bruised, but my bones are intact. You're not going anywhere. Do not trifle with me. I will accompany you to the mother's camp. Not on this foot, Doc. And you know it. Sons of whores. I have failed you. This part is secluded enough. At the woods behind you, you got fresh water supply. You'll be safe here. You have a weapon? I. Right. If I'm not back within two days, go back to the fortress. And while you're here, stab anyone who isn't me. Wait. If you believe what I do, it is a protective talisman, perhaps more. If you don't believe what I do, it is still something beautiful at which to look. Just keep yourself safe. Reconnaissance, terrestrial foreplay to successful ground warfare. Get in, get your information, and get the hell out with your scalp intact. Dark ones. Stay down. Gods, I'm no cook. Leave me alone and poison myself. Speak. No news from the search. The villain eludes our men, for now. As they are meant to do. In your time, you will learn that villains often hide in plain sight. Now leave me, soldier. My thoughts are troubled and require my utmost attention. My lord. I need to believe that you are capable, chosen one.
She's in there. No guards, no armaments. Something isn't right, but she's in there. I can feel she's in there. Do this thing, or let it pass. I have been waiting for you. I have waited a lifetime to once more set eyes upon you. Have we met before? Sorry. I'm not that good with faces. Go. Many nights have I dreamed of this moment. You are not a man who has found peace in his dreams. <laughs> My agility is not what it once had been. I'm afraid this withered shell has betrayed my purest intention. It was my hope to bring you back to our time myself. You. The warning came in my dreams. Visions of the attempt on your life and the time beyond. I myself ventured to your world to ensure that your life was not taken before you could come back to us. <laughs> Alas, your weapon was formidable. King before liberated our lands from an evil usurper bent on domination. We pushed through great darkness to find peace, however fleeting. Raven. It was barely a man. The cursed snake poxed the king's troops. He released a plague which ran unrestrained through the kingdom, killing most with agonizing cruelty. Its reign slipped through his fingers the moment he gave it life. The alchemist. The king before, his family, all were lost. Heroic to the end were they. When Raven took the throne, a coup d'etat using biological weapons. The loyal were driven to the mountains. We fled with the clothes on our backs and the sickness in our blood. How many rotted before its tide, I cannot say. We believe Raven's secrets, the remedy inside the fortress walls. And what have I got to do with all this? When the castle looked to fall to Raven, your father entrusted me to save your life. My father? You are the king before's lost son. You are our king. We traveled to your time, to the time beyond, where I hid you in a place that welcomes lost children. The orphanage. And there you remained. The why send men to kill me? Why? Why did you send your men? I tasked one man to bring you back to me. The others, the dark ones who traveled with him through the gate, were under his command. He twisted my words for his own cause. It appears we have a traitor in our midst. Thane abandoned our cause for his own vengeful bloodlust. And this is how you seek to avenge our fallen? By making peace with the tyrant that cast us out? Never. You mark my words, old woman. 
we shall have our vengeance. I have seen your passing, and it is near. <laughs> you presume to weave the truth to shift my resolve. As it is seen, so it shall pass. To the gods, I swear your death shall be quick. <laughs> Raven butchered his family before his very eyes. We must not cast stones. My lord. Oh. Don't. Don't, please. God. God has left this place. A fortnight after the king sorcerer brings you back to our time, your time beyond is no more. A carrier travels back to your world and releases the plague. Raven's alchemy. The lethal snake crawls across your world without mercy. A fortnight, and all are lost in the time beyond. My lord. What say you? Our spies tell us the Chosen One has entered the Dark Mother's camp any word of his plight. He is alive. She has him and he lives. Aye, the Dark Mother lives, as does the Chosen One. How does this come to pass? It's the blackest of sorcery. He was supposed to slay the witch in her bed. Ready my horse and alert the royal guard. My lord. We shall flash out. This traitor is wretch from beyond. I shall flush you out. I have moments left in this life. Is there a way to get back to the time beyond? I have medicine that can save you. I am too weak. And it is fate that I pass over from my own time. You keep talking about destiny, about fate. I don't believe in it. I believe we make our own destiny, follow our own plans. I, I could see it no other way. Then why do you keep talking about destiny, deciding this or that? I have dreamt of the passing of your world of the blackened corpses lining your streets. But I know not of how the sickness came to find your time. And in this uncertainty lies hope. In this not knowing hides the dragon that shall slay the tyrant. I believe I can change my future. I believe you shall change all our futures. never asked you, why do they cover their faces? To honor the dead who have been taken from us by the plague. <laughs> Look, I have to get you back to your hut. No. You're too sick. No. Soon I shall pass. And until the moment that you return to the time beyond, you are their king. Lead them with your heart. I hope your dreams bring you peace, Holy Mother. Safe home. I am Dunyana, my lord. What are you going to do with her? We shall prepare her for the honorable passage.
Our road becomes more treacherous with her passing. We shall enter the Black Forest and retrieve the catalyst. Which is what? I know not of its form. But how am I supposed to find it? It is said the Chosen One shall seek the catalyst. So it is written, so it shall pass. It shall pass. Yeah, I know. I understand. But will you just go with the flow around here and hope not to get screwed, right? Screwed? Yeah. You know, compromised, left vulnerable. Your words. Yeah, I know. It is literally black. I thought that was just some medieval gloom and doom. Pray you heed my words. No man has entered the Black Forest and lived to tell the tale. There are dark forces at work within its woods. Some say sorcery, others speak knowingly of enchanted beasts. With the Holy Mother's passing, our connection to the beasts within is severed. They roam freely without her spells of containment. I cannot speak to your safety. Wonderfully cryptic. We shall accompany you to its edge and no further. Thus it has been decreed by the Holy Mother. My lord. You can't tell me anything about this catalyst. I'm going in with zero intel. My lord, I know not of its origins. It is said that the catalyst shall bring peace to our world, yet we know not how. I've heard many stories how to bring peace to a place in my time, but your prophecy is refreshingly vague. Let's see what we can find in there. My lord, what news have you? The Holy Mother has passed, and the Chosen One. They accompany him to the Black Forest. For what purpose? It is the location of the Catalyst. So the prophecy rings true. The gods themselves conspire to make it so. I shall rule the kingdom united. You are excused. My servant. Your loyalty will be remembered. the hours within. Thanks. So I guess this is it. Aye. We are at the impasse. Follow the signs and the catalyst shall reveal itself to you. Our people are watched from within. Spies who pledge their allegiance to the tyrant. Raven. Aye, the serpent himself. Pray you, if you should cross paths once again, that you strike at him mercilessly so that he is screwed. Have I offended you, my lord? <clears throat> no, it's just, you remind me of her. You speak of the Holy Mother? Yes. I see now that you're her daughter. It was my honor. And when this is over, when I've returned with the catalyst and Raven is screwed, who takes over the kingdom? My lord? The throne, who sits on the throne, if I manage to return to the time beyond. As king without son, you select your rightful heir, my lord. It is our custom. And your people will return to the fortress? We shall await the catalyst to show us the way through their fortifications. Then what? 
our people have been on the outside for far too long. We shall secure the antidote to our sickness. If we are able to heal our numbers, to unite our people once again, it is my dream that a peace shall become true. Peace. Aye, it is all that matters. You should be a righteous queen. No, my lord, I, I cannot accept this honor. You can and you will. I've decreed it. Hey, listen, guys. I've decreed it. My lord. Perhaps you'd prefer a larger blade. I have a feeling in a black forest, size does matter. It is forbidden to touch a king, but I... Oh. Mother advised me to rule with my heart, but not much of a poet, so I can only offer you her words. Oh my God, I'm starting to talk like you. Godspeed, my lord. Enter these woods and bring me the chosen one. The woods are haunted, my lord. Not man or beast have escaped its clutches. My king? Would your insolence betray the peace of our kingdom? No, my lord. Then enter these woods and show the demons that you are soldiers of the realm. Retrieve the chosen one and bring the catalyst to me. My lord, my ten best, follow me. Follow the king. For king and country. Keep your mind fixed on the goal. Find the catalyst and get your ass out of there before something eats you. Dotty Grizzly could do that. I wish you were a grizzly. Nice to see you. How you been? I never thought I'd be chased by a dragon. You have aligned yourself with the Dark Mother. Change of strategy. 
I'm confused by your betrayal. Well, we're on a bit of a schedule, so I'll keep it brief. <sighs> My king. Yes. It seems like he's responsible for spreading the plague, orchestrating a coup against the king before. Now I have to find the catalyst and save this world and the time beyond, because I'm the king before son. This cannot be. Yeah, what the hell? Exactly, am I right? <sighs> well, the bitch, we're still being chased by a dragon. Let's go. By the way, the Holy Mother's dead. What? Whatever you think you're here to do, we all better get the hell out of here. We are the guardians of the realm. We stand aside not for man, nor for beast. Good luck with that, Custer. For king, for country! I can't go with you. I haven't recovered catalyst. We shall return, Anon. Up there, only death awaits. I have to go. Do you not value your life to ascend his madness? I'll circle around and avoid the big nasty. We're screwed, aren't we? Yeah. We're screwed. I'll take four of your pussies with me, and you know it. To resist now would be pure folly, Granger. You. You were the one that brought the plague upon our houses. You. Curb your tongue, Doctor. I am still your king. You are the true villain of this tale. <laughs> well, Granger from the time beyond. Before nightfall, your entrails will be hanging from the fortress gate. Bring them both. Welcome to your final moments in this world. Wretch. The devil himself awaits your passing. Blasphemy! You cursed witch. Oh. This man is your rightful king. The king before son. On the life of my mother. Lies! Uh. You are the black tongue agent of the dark mother. Take them from the steed. I shall end a life where they stab. I shall cut your guts out myself. No. He is your rightful king. This looks bad. It was an honor to fight by your side and lay with you as your woman. Oh, shit. Incoming. Raven is making way to the portal. The portal to your world.
monster has brought down their walls. The dragon is the catalyst. The catalyst! We hold! Secrets, two vials on his person at all times. Two. Go! My actions are the that of a fool or a cop. each other again. Never 
history's full of losers like you. We did it. see you again. What is it you said? Perhaps in my dreams tonight. Perhaps another time. Perhaps another time.